Hello, thank you for viewing this video. This is the package that uh, that was given, and we have made some changes. So some of the major changes I'll just show. Okay, so these are the this is the level stars. This is the, the, the uh, this is attached to each and every each and every button, and it contains the stars. So if I go over here in the canvas and if I open up uh, the screen which is called level selection, over here we have UI container and inside the UI container we have buttons. The this is by the way totally custom and over here we have got button scroll view, we have got viewport, we have got content, we have got container and columns are here. And each and every one of these buttons, this level 1, level 2, level 3, I've got a button stars manager. This script is responsible for handling the button stars and uh, this is the code for that. So we are actually storing the the, uh, the stars and we are saving them to the player's player prefs keys so that when the player loads the game again the stars will also load. This is also handled for each and every individual individual player group ID. Uh, player group ID is basically whether the player is playing easy, medium, hard or expert. And over here we've got level stars which is one of the uh, one of the starting key value. And then we add these two texts or these two strings over here. So we add level number dot text and we add player preps dot get strings get ma uh, game manager dot instance dot current level group selection key. Which basically means that we are adding the group ID as well uh, into the string as well, so we always remain consistent. So this will be uh, this will be like level one stars. Uh, this sorry, this will be level stars, one, and then easy, medium, or hot, whatever the value over here is. This is one of the biggest changes that we have made. Other changes that we have made include these level unlocked keys as well as level stars keys. These this is in game manager. This is player IGC. And these are all of the inspector variables that were given to us by this asset. Here we are handling the player IGC, and uh, over here you can see that uh, we are actually uh, we are going to load the puzzles. We have play new game, and over here we have got unlocking new levels. This is the entire code for unlocking the new levels. Once the level is complete, we check what the group ID was whether it's easy, medium, hard, or expert, and we run these statements to unlock the next level. We also have the text animation, which plays when the when the player uses up IGC. We have puzzle to load, which is going to be the uh, a B, this this is going to set the key and tell the game which puzzle the game should load. Over here, we are doing the same thing. And then we have got another function, which is going to load the puzzle to an order in case we need to revert back someday. This is get puzzle to load. This function is, act, uh, is going to get the puzzle that the game should load. We have got puzzle data over here. This is given to us by the script, by the asset in fact. We have got level selection related keys over here. The, this is very standard. We are setting the values of the keys at start. We have got uh, puzzle complete pop-up over here and over here we are we have got this function which is going to show the stars on the level complete screen. Then we have got level buttons on locker, which is attached to the attached to the pop-up that contains the level buttons. And inside these level buttons, we are going to unlock the buttons for all the levels that the player has unlocked. And this also takes into account which group we are playing. So if I play the game right now, let me just go go over this game. So current IGC you can see is written over here when I, as soon as I hit play. This is going to be in minus. Uh, in fact, it's going to be in positive right now because I cleared the player prep. So this is going to be 500. And this is the set by the code that I showed you when I hit new game. This, is the, this was given to us by the asset. And when I hit easy, this was created by us. So that's what we have, and uh, if I play any puzzle, so if I play any puzzle, if I use up hints like that, you can see that this is the animation uh, that plays, I showed the animation code to you as well, and if I complete this quickly, 
you can see the stars these appeared and we have got new best so I can go ahead and hit new game and you can see that we have got uh, stars over here if I go back and if I hit medium you can see that for medium and hard they're different because the group ID is different so it doesn't load from the easy so I've played easy and I've played medium and you can see that if I go over and if I um, delete the player press if I clear clear oops, if I clear player press right now this should uh, either it should be totally clear if it's not I'll fix it but I believe it will be clear so there it is there it's cleared so everything is cleared and we're set back to 500 thank you very much